Hi guys, my name is FiFi and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Please like and subscribe if you like this content and let's just get straight into it. So, this episode today, we are gonna build this base. I've been doing a lot of farming off screen. I've got a few materials, I'm sure they're gonna run out quite quickly. But we're gonna do as much as we can with this base and what I am planning to sort of um, just give you a visual or verbal representation is this is the main entrance I'm gonna have two big rooms on the side then an, a moon pool a moon pool so it's a bit symmetrical I'm gonna have a control system up here maybe with a scanner room and a generator room down there that's what we're gonna do today and that shouldn't take too long as I've already got a lot of the materials and then we're gonna I found a artifact while farming so we're going to go and scan that artifact and we're going to go and find margaret's farmhouse so a lot to do a lot to do but we're going to get on with it so i wonder if i can oops i've got all the buttons if i can start sort of planning how i want this to look if i maybe i can no nope, i don't want that one i want this one connected to oh wait a minute this is just the roof all right ah, ah, ah. oh do I swim faster than you okay you're no longer scary so this is just the roof of the building I've got to make these oh I did not plan for that but I should have the building. I should have the, some materials for it. If not, I'm sure I can get it quite quickly. So we wanna do that. But I want it in line. Maybe like that. That's looking good. Now I don't think I can put anything else on the side without it already being made. I wanted to put a moon pool. No. So I'd have to make it first. Okay, let's go and get some materials. I need to charge my battery for my sea glider as well. Have I got any materials in here? Nope. Okay, base is not too far. We'll go and grab some materials. All right, so we're back at the base, at the outpost, should I say. Welcome got my little food source here, which is absolutely brilliant. You don't, you, you literally only need one. And that gives you pretty much full health. I've never had to take from this one. And this was the chest I was using to put a lot of the materials in. So I'm just gonna take quite a lot. And I wanna make another two more plastil, which is uh, two more ingots and some lithium so I hope that I don't use up all my lithium so I'm not sure if I have extra I also went to the mining facility with my um, prawn suit and did a lot of mining there which is pretty handy the only thing you can't mine is lead and lithium well I couldn't find a lithium one and I know there's not a lead one so that's, that's a bit of a shame because lead is needed, especially when we make nuclear reactors. Need one more lithium. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to go out and get more lithium at some point. But that's all right. They're quite close. All right, so that is done. I need all my enameled glass enameled glass I got that and what do I need for the rooftops okay let's see let's see let's see um titanium and lithium ah that's what I need my lithium for hmm hmm I might be able to only make one for now I only need two more lithium it's not 
overly difficult to get. There may be some in here. No, that's lead. No. 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 And I'm sure not in there. Okay. You know what? I'm going to quickly just grab two lithium. And, uh, so we don't have to worry about it later. So let's find these purple vents. Right, so if you ever want to find lithium, it's normally around here in the purple vents. The only problem is, there is a leviathan around here. So you've got to be very careful. But there is lithium around here somewhere. And see, straight away. And there's normally quite a few. But just be careful of being eaten. All right, so I've got my lithium. And let's uh, finish making this part of the base. All right. And then we want to put a roof on top of that. And I should have everything there. Building whole strength weak. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, um. Okay. I need to reinforce some of these walls. Um, how do I reinforce the walls quickly, quickly, quickly? There. Oh, it takes lithium. That's not good. Okay, so let's repel this stuff. Oh, wow. That's not a good start, is it? the last hole there it is oh there's two more integrity restored oh. training systems initiated okay so yeah I think I'm gonna need a lot more lithium if I need to reinforce these walls but we got our uh, our roof out here which looks lovely and I am going to do a little lithium farm because I need to reinforce all these walls so I will be back in a sec okay wow <laughs> I got I got lithium I got if you can see I got a fair bit but that was an adventure I went to the um, purple uh, what are they called purple Explosion thingy, Majiggies. And yeah, I nearly got eaten by Leviathan. It was so close. All right, we're gonna put some reinforcements up here because we don't want that thing to happen again. And me being me, I've left my building tool on the ship or the sea truck. All right, let's go and grab that. No. Alright then, now let's put some actual reinforced walls on here. So, can I not pull it on here? Hmm, hmm. Okay, I can put one here. But is that in line with... That does, it takes up a, um, a doorway. I don't want it to take up a doorway. So there's four doors. You know what? I don't mind it actually. Having two doors open is perfectly fine with me. Having it like that and then having the same here. Can I not pull it here then? Now that I've constructed this. Hmm. 
And I don't think I'm going to have anything on the back here. So that should give me quite a decent amount of full, full integrity. We're going to deconstruct this quickly. Because I want to try and put the walls on before I put this on. Hmm. I can't seem to deconstruct this room. Oh, maybe because I've got a, a reinforced plate here. Right. I need some room. So. Let's bung some stuff back in here. Um, let's bung that. That. Don't need this stuff at the moment. As we're just base building right now. No need to carry a knife around with us. Right, now let's see. If we put some reinforcements in the middle, let's see if we can still attach the big room. That should be fine. Now, let's attach this bad boy. It looks like it. Just got to get it in. No, we've got to move forward a bit. There we go. Looking good. Might as well get the glass on there as well. And there you have it. Now let's see what that looks like. Okay, yep, yeah, so it stops that, which is what I need. And we've got our little sky, sky roof. Lovely, that's what I want to see. Exactly what I want to see. All right, now, I want to make the um, reactor room because I'm going to put, there's a reactor in there, bio reactor in there. I'm going to take these away and I'm going to put it down here. Now, what I am thinking, is it possible to put it down here? Is that a thing I can do? Because I don't want to just make a room like this. I want, to, I want there to be another level connected by either a multi-purpose room or a ladder. So I want it to be about here. So let's see how that works. I need one of these bad boys. It doesn't seem like it can do that. Can I put a multi-purpose room here? I can. So then why can't I put a ladder down there? If I just get a ladder? Nope. If I... These pipes are not vertical. Vertical connector. Maybe if I put the room down a bit. Let's try it. What's the harm of trying it? So if I put the room... Uh, it kind of goes into the rock there, doesn't it? Doesn't like it. In fact, let's put a multi-purpose room. Like... I wish I could zoom out a bit. Here? Oh, run out of titanium.
But that looks like it's in a good position. Could I then put a vertical attachment? No. I cannot. Okay. Hmm. How is this going to work? How do vertical attachments work? So I should be able to put one here, right? Or here. I am confused. Okay, let's try this. Can I put this up too? Like that. And I put... No? Doesn't want to work? That definitely is not the one. If I go in there, can I attach it? No. Hmm. Right, give me a few seconds. I'm going to figure this out. There must be a way. There must be a way. Okay, so it looks like you can only pull it on the, the pipe here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So, we're gonna have to find a way to do that. We have a pipe here. Let's just get some oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. I wonder if these can all be used as um, hatches. I think they may be able to. Because then we could do something like, oh, I've run out of battery. These batteries run out so fast. Because then we can do something like, maybe this one. At the back here. And what would that do? But that doesn't connect it. Hmm. But why is my integrity going down then if it doesn't connect <sighs> okay maybe we'll have to just do a different plan So I want something like this here. So it can't go in there, it can't. It can go like that though. Let's see what it's like like that. That would be our generator room then. We can put a, a ladder here going down and Seek fluid here we can have all our power supply a couple of uh, 
nuclear power plant and a bioreactor for safekeeping. Just for emergencies. Got a lot of power in here. It's not using much. And then we could de deconstruct that. We can make another room over there, like this room, and then we can make the moon pools. I quickly want to make a moon pool over here, see if it'll fit. I hope it does. Then I'm gonna go back to the old base and get all the materials and get some food. It does fit. I need titanium ingots, lubricant and lead. That is lovely. Oh, and it's not that big. It's not the same size as that. That's amazing. That is amazing because then maybe we can do something else over there. Okay, let's get back to base. Well, the outpost. We've got to start calling that the outpost now. Alright. Very, very long distance I had to travel just then took me hours Welcome get some food vital signs stabilizing and now we need ingots we need lead might as well just take all of this here is this I use I use that to sort of calculate what I need. Anything else that I may need? Batteries. In fact. Here, let me take this out. Because I wanna put the old one in there. Might as well charge it up. There we go. Alright. Oh, let me make some more plastic ingots. I don't know if I've got enough to make another set of plastic ingots. Um, because I'm going to need all the titanium that I've got. Although I have a lot of titanium. And lithium out. Lithium is the bane of my life at the moment. Let's grab some more titanium since I just used most of it. Oh, I've got quite a lot. Of, oh, I've got some, I've got lithium here as well. Of course I have. Of course I didn't check. And you know what? I'm going to take that. Actually, no, I'm not going to take that top off because that helps with the um, the depth of the solar panels, which gives you more power the higher they are to the surface or the closer they are to the surface. So that's a good thing to remember, just keep an eye out where you put your solar panels. The higher you can get them to the surface, the better. But then I might just get rid of that outpost altogether because there's literally no point just having these two. I would eventually never go to that outpost. Right, let's construct this, our first moon pool. Um, Ah, oh, did I not bring any lubricant I need? Perfect. All right, let's finish this off. Our first moon pool. Now that should be taking power. I kind of lost the way I am. Yeah, here we go. So you come in, you got a moon point there. This will be some sort of resources, maybe a garden. And the other side will be another sort of resources. I'm not sure what yet. 
maybe an aquarium maybe all right i want to try and build this control center now because that helps me manage the base so what do we need for the control center control room i've got everything what i'd like to see and if i do it there would it snap on or not let's see i hope so that'd be perfect in the control room you can change base lighting and colors rename your base and see information about power and structural integrity but not the integrity of societal power structures all right so maybe we need a ladder no so i can't get in there great Is there a way in here? No. Okay. We need to rethink that. But you see that's changing my my base integrity. Maybe just maybe this just might work. If we manage to put... Why can it not go anywhere here? Maybe it doesn't have the structural integrity that it needs. Hmm. Maybe I will have to have that there. If it can go there. All right, calm down. Well, maybe I can have it here. Not that I'm happy with that. Hmm. Not entirely happy with that. I wish these vertical things worked better. Let's try one more time. I want to get one right here. That would be amazing. Or here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's try this one more time. Let's get some oxygen before I die. Oxygen. Captain. And I can't really put a ladder here, can I? No. So, assuming. No, that's not that's even in the wrong place anyway. It's actually really hard to line up these um these buildings. Okay, I think I've done it. I think I can put it like that. Let's check. I hope so. Uh, but it's giving me whole integrity. Like, it's saying that my whole integrity has gone down, so it's attached to the base. But 
but it's not in a place where I can use it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, give me a few seconds and I'm gonna try and figure out a little plan for this. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. Let's get that. A little uh, corridor system from back here. Now it'd have been fine if this coral wasn't in the way and I could not be bothered to move my base up by one. Um, maybe in the future I will, so you don't have to run around here to go up there and go in there. But that is the control panel done, the control room. Is this what my base looks like so far? With a moon base on the side. And I'm gonna do sort of the same thing on this side. Then we're gonna maybe work down. And yeah, that look, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. So let's go inside and check out this control panel. I'm kind of oh, I'm kind of surprised my um my power is not going down. I thought the control panel and the moon pool would be taking a lot of the um, power. Not a lot, but constantly taking. Uh, hello. I need a ladder. <sighs> okay. Okay. Be calm. Right, I need two titanium, and I have absolutely no titanium. How hard can titanium be to get, right? Oh, no. Okay, of course. Of course. Ah, finally. Yep, yeah, cool. Right. Now let's try that again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. And I'm going to need to um, put some more reinforcements down because I think my base integrity is getting quite low. Okay, there we have it. Let's climb up. And this is the control room. What time it is, time of day, structural integrity, power status, no plus or minus, that's pretty cool. Shows you how much you're consuming. Um, cool, 14, which is not too bad. I wonder if I can turn it into a window. What is this, upgrades or something? Name, color, all that, lovely. Large room. Oh, that is very detailed actually. They give you a lot of information here. But I will need Ah okay, so you can um some oh you can navigate the minimap. Okay. That's pretty cool. And we'll deal with that in a bit. I would like a way to get out of here quite easily, or to get here quite easily. But for now, we'll just use this. Because I don't know how often we'll be going in there. So now the bit I've been dreading, how much titanium have I got? I've got zero titanium. Um, we're gonna have to start on this side. Now, this is gonna be fun because my power generator is in there and I didn't want to really take that down. But to be fair, I'm not using any power. So, it shouldn't be too bad if I'd quickly take it down and put it back up downstairs. Let's do that. What could go wrong? Right. 
So my backup generators, which are going to be, which is going to be this one. Oh, it takes a middle. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm only going to have one then, which is going to be here, because the rest are going to be nuclear power. Now I didn't get the um. Yeah, I didn't get the thing back, the bio stuff that I put in there. Which is a bit of a shame. How to make nuclear reactors? Uh, plastic ingots, lead, and advanced wiring kit. Okay, I ain't got that yet. And then we can take that last bit down and build another big place. Okay, so I've had to do this. Because that rock is in the way. So maybe, just maybe. Oxygen. Okay, calm down. Yeah, maybe I can do something else on this side. It won't be symmetrical, but that's that could be fine. It can add some depth. Maybe instead of making the uh, um, tunnel system here, I can make it here, go up here, move this forward a bit, and then that leaves space for maybe either a moon pool here or a multi-purpose room aquarium that goes up, fully glassed. I think that is what we'll do. But I think I'm going to carry on with base building in the next episode. So I do really want to check out um, Margaret's farmhouse. And I also want to check out this artifact that we saw, that I saw when I was farming. So I want to get them done before the episode gets too long. And then we can always come back to this. And I can do some of this offline. I need to do a, li a little bit more farming for materials. And I may bring this generator room down now that I've got a pipe system that I can use. And then I want to get foundations here to put outside plants and maybe some lights. So before we go and find these other things, I'm going to quickly see if my moon base, if my sea truck can go in here. Um, that's a problem. It can. But did it get rid of all the... Yeah. It got rid of all the modules. Which is fine. That's not a big deal. So, that is it for now on this base until next episode. First thing first, artifact. So I think it, no, it's not that artifact. It's not that artifact. I don't think it's come up on my radar yet, but there is one round here. And I think it's just right here, literally. I do need to charge my batteries again. I feel like I'm charging them constantly. And I need to get a scanner. Yeah. Always coming prepared, I am. I'm always prepared. Okay. So, battery. Let's get some batteries out here. Let's get my scanner knife and keep that on us just in case so organize all of this i don't need the building tool anymore and repair tool could oh no i do want the repair tool that may be a torch so 
you need to be changed and put in there. And we are finally ready. Let's go down here. So yeah, I completely found this back sink because I was looking for lead and a hot place as well. And I found this little bad boy. We're gonna scan this and see what this gives us. He did say something before. So I'm sorry, I couldn't record that. But hopefully he says something again now. New technology acquired. Oh, we've got ion batteries. And an ion power cell. That is something I really want. Because these batteries just run out so fast. Now how do you make them? Hmm. Ion crude, gold, silver, lithium. Not too bad. Two ion batteries, silicon rubber and wiring. Pretty much the same thing. But, no, no, it's not actually. Wow. I've got a lot of iron cubes, but I don't think I've got enough to make the amount I want to make. I would like four of each, to be fair. But I do know there are iron, iron deposits. So when I find one, definitely going to go and uh, get my mining corn and mine as much as possible. So let me just save it here. Because we're going to go on a journey. We're going to go on a journey of a lifetime. And I have very little battery, some health. So Delta Station's there. She said it's west, I think. I don't think it's west. Let's see what she said. If I can find it. All right, yep. All right, Altera. East. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure, whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. Okay, so that is Leviathan territory. So we're going to try and go around. So she said it's an iceberg. So I'm guessing it's in the Arctic section. So we got, we're going to try and get to the Arctic section without attracting a Leviathan. I've had enough Leviathan attacks for one day. All right. I think we're getting into the Arctic section now. And there is one more Leviathan round here that I saw. So, when you get a bit more into this Arctic section. I don't think there's many Leviathans in the Arctic section. This is actually scary though. I'm sure I just saw something flap its wings through there. I wish they just gave you a waypoint. That would be amazing. And it's not like it's easy to see out there. Oh, nice. There's, there's artifacts around here. Mulan in nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber, typically formed by glacial melt. Okay, so... I'm hoping she's around here somewhere. We've got glow, glow wells, which are bloody beautiful. Just got to keep an eye out on the icebergs. And of course, it's absolutely misty outside, so we can't see anything at all. 
Um, and now it's Hellstone in. Oh, I was trying. Someone think was trying to eat me. Uh, go away. Let's look around here somewhere. Purple vents again. I don't like the look of that. Go away. Um, okay. It must be here somewhere. I'm going to get up on one of these icebergs and see what I can do. Okay. We're going to wait until it's uh, a bit lighter outside. Because I cannot see anything. So we just cut it here until it's daytime. See you in a sec. Okay, it's starting to get sunrise. And I'm looking around. Can't really see anything. Maybe it's up here? There's always adverse weather. Who the hell are you? Hypothermia imminent. Okay. Oh, that's what they are. Never seen you guys before. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, there's a thing there. Why is it? There's always some sort of adverse weather. Like, just give me a break for a few seconds, please. I just need to find this base first. Then you can have your adverse weather. Hypothermia imminent. That was close. Don't tell me it's getting dark already. Really? Okay. So it doesn't seem like it's out here. Maybe it's over there? Let's have a look. Maybe over there somewhere. That actually scared me that time. It can't be dark again already, surely. No, it looks like light outside. Okay. It's so hard to get out of this water sometimes. They should make like some sort of climbing up animation. Oh, that's beautiful. Big though, isn't it?
I'm gonna find this greenhouse if it's the last thing I do. Oops, sorry, we have right here. So I'm near the lily pad area. Let's see what's around here. Is it up there? <gasps> Found it. It's over there. We got it. We got it. Nice. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that was so hard to find. And I haven't even got a beacon. So, I've got to make sure I get back here. Or get everything I need from here. I wonder what happens if I crash into them. They must be just nudge me out of the way. Alright, it should be this one, I hope. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be this one. Have I got space? I've got okay amount of space. Nothing to scan over here. Get some food so I can survive. And let's go and talk to this lady. Like, literally, she needs to give me a marker next time. It would be nice. I am helping her after all. We are finally here. Honeycomb fungus. Oh, we got some bones over here. Is this a leviathan? Maybe. She's badass sometimes, ain't she? Nothing around there. Let's just quickly eat. And get in there. Oh, that's a nice looking place, isn't it? Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself to the greenhouse. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. Nice. All right, what are we scanning here? Scan Margaret. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. <laughs> oh, a plant shelf. Nice. Decorations. Indoor grow bed, exactly what we want. New blueprint synthesis. What's that? Composite plant pot. Don't, don't I already have that? New blueprint synthesized. Marble melon, that's exactly what I want. New blueprint synthesized. Chinese potato. Cheek pot. Cheek plant pot. So different types of plant pots. New blueprint synthesized. Taking all the stuff. New 
new blueprint synthesized. There you go. I want to scan these. Now, do I hit them to get the seeds? Or not? Let, we'll check that out in a sec. Let's make sure I've got everything. Can't scan you again. Can't scan anything there. I want this shelf thing, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, what about these? Okay. Whoops. Yep, yeah, quite the seeds. I'm taking all of the seeds, even though I have no space. Damn. I don't need shrub, nut. I want the Chinese potato. But I want this as well. Okay, maybe I can't take that. Okay. Good in salads. Okay, I need to get that back before it gets destroyed. Um, let's do that. What do you mean my inventory is full? My inventory... Oh, does it take four? It takes four, doesn't it? Um, you know what? It's not too bad. I can mostly find it somewhere else. That's fine. I'll close the door for you. It's a bit chilly outside. All right, let's get back to the sea truck. To be fair, I think actually this is a good place to leave this episode. This episode's gone on long enough. We built some of the base. We found her greenhouse. We found an artifact and got some ion batteries. I think off camera, I'll build more of the base and we'll go more artifact hunting and we'll see what's over the bridge in the other place. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.